we're using Lysanthropy by Southern Witchcrafts. And let's take a look at those scent notes here. Fir, lilac, musk, oak moss, mildew. 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 Um, actually, I think in this scent, I think you can actually pick out each one if you try, or at least I can. And the resulting fragrance, like Red says, <laughs> I, I think it's a, a fresh, clean scent. Uh, slightly floral. But I definitely, I feel like the lilac and kind of like the, uh, the fur, the lilac, are pretty easy to pick up right off the bat. Like, you could tell it's floral. You could tell it has a little bit of green. But then the, like, oak moss, musk, I think that's more so like the body there. But I, I feel like you can pick each part apart. If you just take those five scent notes and you try to pick them out, I think you can do it. And the mildew is, you, you can pick out the mildew. And this is something, you know, that, that it's going to be unique to Southern Witchcrafts. Because they're always going to do something a little bit fucking weird with their fragrance. But somehow they make it work. And uh, I, I still think this is a great scent. <clears throat> oh, I guess it's safe to mention that this was sent along uh, for free as a gift from Jack at the Virtual Groom Room. I uh, I bought a soap set off him, and he sent two free soap pucks. They were already used, but uh, he sent them along for free, uh, without mention. So, big thanks, Jack. Um, that's what we're using tonight. Jack, thanks for hooking it up. Alright, we're going to be using the uh, Thirsty Badger, or Crazy Badger, Badger brush here. Got it soaking in some distilled water. Got some loaded up into the Lancaster Bowl, as always. We're going to be finishing off with some Mammoth Soaps, Sonder, which is kind of like a musky and white floral type scent as well. And then of course we got the little sleeve, or the sheath, with the double duck inside. So there we go. Double duck. This um, was honed up by Strike Old Shave Frank Misa. And that's the gold edge razor right there. And uh, it's funny, I was actually... Well, maybe I should get to lathering up. I'll go ahead and wring out my brush. There it is for you. Got that nice kind of crimson and black. And the black kind of has some sparkle in it. Some flake or whatever. So that nice crimson and black. And there's that thirsty, thirsty uh, crazy badger. Uh, coin on the bottom but uh, like I was saying I was going back through my um, videos because I wanted to see how many straight razor shaves I got because I mentioned to somebody um, in a comment that I don't know how many straight razor shaves I have but I'm sure I hit that 30 mark already and uh Today, while I was just kind of surfing, I uh, I decided to count how many were uploaded on my YouTube channel, and I had 29 exactly. So this is going to be my 30th straight razor shave with a uh, soap I've never used, but a soap base that I have used and I actually really enjoy. Southern Witchcrafts is a vegan soap base, and... It's one of my top vegan uh, soap bases as far as performance goes and kind of hand in hand as far as enjoyment goes. I really like how they push the envelope with kind of crazy scents. I'm going to add some more water here. We got a nice, a nice batch going, but I think it could take a little more, so I'm just going to add a little more. And, uh... And I think we'll be good. So, this scent, 
it's not like it's not like a banger it's not I don't think it's gonna knock anybody's socks off but I do think it is a a pleasant scent that you could probably wear year-round uh, I don't think it's gonna offend anybody it's just kind of fresh and clean uh, when you really get get down to it all right now we're talking it's nice little soft peaks there and that looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and put some water on I saw a couple giveaways today actually I saw uh, so sharp David had his uh, patreon giveaway which I think that's badass that um, some of us, I don't think all of us could pull it off, but I think it's badass that some of us can pull off a Patreon. I myself, before I even started my channel, um, was talking to a, a few other YouTubers about the uh, what they thought about a like a giveaway engine using Patreon as a giveaway engine where there's no tiers you just kinda give whatever you're willing to give and your entries kind of I don't know maybe set it like at a dollar and a dollar is an entry and then as soon as you can buy a product and maybe have like a wait list of products as soon as you can you have enough accumulated to buy a product giveaway time and everybody who who uh, donated is automatically entered to the giveaway and then it just goes on and on and on and you just once that giveaway is done as soon as you have enough for the next one the next one then as soon as you have enough that for the next one the next one um, and I always thought it was a good idea, but I just didn't think that people would react well to it, so I scrapped it. Because a lot of people, soon as you, soon as you start uh, asking for money, the whole perception gets thrown off, even if none of it is staying with you. So I just scrapped it, because I don't need or I don't want that perception. But I think it is absolutely amazing that some of us can pull it off and get supported. Look at this lather. Southern Witchcrafts is fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Alright. Double Duck. Gold Edge. Right there with those beautiful scales. Kind of cleaned up as well. It was a lot more grimy when uh, Frank had it. Or when I sent it off and then Frank cleaned it up for me. I don't know if you guys saw my uh, IG Live or IG TV with uh, Shaving with Chief. We did a uh, dual straight razor shave. He actually bought a fake beard for the live. And um, I shoot. I was showing him how to uh, straight razor shave. Oh yeah, they're getting some hair off now. I skipped a day. I skipped a day yesterday. <clears throat> so we definitely have some growth. I was telling him when I do the kind of uh, I don't know what you call this, like the sideburn area. I just kind of roll the wrist instead of actually moving my arm I just roll the wrist I guess I should show it like that and uh, that's what I do to kind of maintain that angle on its way down I think it works pretty well of course you know there's traditional technique and then there's personal technique and uh, I honestly don't know either one <laughs> So, 
I'm just going along as I go and that's what works for me. Alright. Get this, uh, side area there. Looking good. As long as I got this damn thing in my right hand, we're okay. As soon as we make that transition, who knows what's going to happen. But actually... Actually, it's actually been uh, pretty good. I was telling Chief in the uh, in the live that uh, I don't have that same kind of like disconnect with um, say, like DEs now that I've begun straight razor shaving. I know CDB was saying that uh, he doesn't have the same drive to use the uh, safety razors because he's having so much fun with the straight razors. And I've heard that sentiments with a lot of people that picked up say, or, uh, straight razors. I don't necessarily have that same feeling. I really uh, enjoy the straight razors. And I'm having fun learning them. You know, starting from scratch and being a beginner at something again. But um, I still, I think I just love variety too much that I just kind of like I want to have a different razor every shave. And I only have two straight razors, so it's like it's not a whole hell of a lot of variety, and they're too expensive to buy. <laughs> you know back to back to back whereas safety razors are pretty affordable especially vintage ones <clears throat> so i still like getting all my uh my schick injectors and uh my de's in as well as the artist club style What I need to do is get like a Kamasuri. I, I kind of want a real one. I don't want to get like a, uh, I don't want to really get a Chevette, you know, or a Chevette Kamasuri. I want to get like a real Kamasuri, but uh, I know those come with a price tag too. <clears throat> so the, uh, we'll switch gears here. The uh, scent on this is probably approaching a 5 out of 10, like a 4.5 to 5, um, maybe just under medium, but like I said, it's, um, I don't think it's super complex, but what's there is perceivable, and um, I think people can appreciate that. Or I hope people can appreciate that because they put five scent notes, which is more than some and less than others. But those five scent notes are perceivable, in my opinion. And it's a, it's just a really wearable fragrance. Like I said, I don't think it's offensive. Even though the mildew note is there, it, it's supporting the kind of um, fresh floral nature of this fragrance. I could see this being unisex, but I don't think it leans. I don't think it leans feminine. If anything, it just rides the line. All right. Here we go, pass two. 
against the grain. <sighs> Gotta make sure you swish it in the mouth. Pull the skin and rotate the wrist just like that. I was getting a kick out of uh, Corey saying that, uh, well, this shit isn't as easy as it looks. I was like, bro, I have one third of the face to shave than you have to. But the, uh, the kicker is that you're putting your uh, beard lines at risk every time, every day. I don't think it's anything nerve-wracking, but if you're uh, being reckless, you can definitely fuck those lines up. All right. Against the green. This Frank Mesa edge is so fucking smooth. It's just cutting. I actually sent my uh, my Viking um, Viking shaving and brushes, my brush handle, to Frank for a hand tied um, badger knot. So that's pretty exciting. Frank is starting that endeavor, and I wish him the best of luck. I'm basically putting my faith in him. Um, there's like no reviews out yet, you know what I mean? So I'm basically putting my faith in him. I really like his soaps, um, the products, the scents that he puts out. I'm a big fan of the uh, Hair Force One Badger Knot that I have in my Grizzly Blade handle. And, um... Pretty much everything he touches turns out to be fairly well received. There have been uh, weird customer service uh, occurrence recently, but uh, I, I, that's just all I'm going to call it is an occurrence because I don't find that to be the norm with Frank. I think he has uh, proven himself to be pretty damn reliable, so. And don't just take my word for it. I mean, you can ask around. I think even in the case of that isolated occurrence, uh, other people were saying that's not, that's uncharacteristic. It has to be some sort of weird circumstance going on. So... I am just putting my, my trust in Frank that he, uh, he, you know, he understands these, uh, hand-tied knots before he started providing his service instead of the other way around. You know, you don't want to accept people's money and not understand how to provide that service. You know, you want to make sure that you you're gonna provide a quality product before you start taking anybody's money. And that was a damn smooth shave, a comfortable shave, no cuts anywhere, even though I did have some like blemishes, just went right over smoothly. And I don't feel any hair. <laughs> I don't feel anything. So Southern Witchcrafts definitely did a job, its job. One of my favorite vegan bases right now. Um, I really like Southern Witchcrafts. I'm looking forward to their upcoming collab with uh, Australian Private Reserve. Which is going to be, I think, kind of like their summer seasonal. 
and um, you know it sounds like it's gonna be kind of like like a little bit citrusy a little bit earthy but honestly you just never know with southern witchcrafts because they always throw in they always throw a wrench in the scent notes that truly makes the buying experience kind of exploratory you know what i mean there's always something that is just like what is that what is that doing in there you know something that doesn't belong and really if you buy it and enjoy it all you're doing is like expanding that like portfolio of scent notes that you have in your in your uh, memory bank and uh i'm all for that shit so i'm really looking forward to their uh their collab with Australian Private Reserve. Now, what am I doing? Get that peasantry out of here. <laughs> we got the Lancaster. <clears throat> Lancaster tail. Oh. No need to uh, dry off with sandpaper when we have a, a cloud handy. And of course, I'm joking for you sensitive Sally's out there. Sensitive ass motherfuckers, I know. <laughs> Alright. Whew! And the face, the immediate post shave feel. Gotta make sure I, do, I differentiate because Lord knows. If I said that was the post shave, two seconds after drying off, someone would have a fucking seizure. But the immediate post shave feel feels very hydrated and nourished. All right, we're gonna go some mammoth soap sonder. Kind of look like champagne with all those bubbles rising to the top. You can see I haven't used much. It's not necessarily my favorite release from the house. Not terrible. I would say it's all right. Personal preference. This one has some, uh, some citrus top notes. And um, I think it has a good hit of those white florals that I was talking about in my last video. And the resulting fragrance, to me, <laughs> smells like fucking a good, sophisticated citrus cleaner, <laughs> like uh, like Lysol or something. That I mean, no offense, no offense, but it does kind of give me that kind of like Lysol cleaner citrus cleaner type vibe um so that's probably why it's not necessarily my favorite I, I don't think it's bad or repulsive or anything but i just feel like there's a something about it you know what i mean and that's just that's just for me that's just for me <clears throat> all right lysanthropy from southern witchcrafts uh another good one it's it's a good one I would say it's a pretty safe release from Southern Witchcrafts, relatively speaking. Um, but uh, you know you can depend on that vegan base. That vegan base is fucking fantastic. It's just the scent. You always got to kind of, you're always taking a leap of faith. You're always taking a risk with Southern Witchcrafts. But uh, I think that's a good thing. <clears throat> we also had the trusty Lancaster Bowl. The spider web design inside. I used my crazy badger badger brush. No hype name on that knot. Just a badger brush. What? It feels great too, if you were wondering. We also had the gold dollar gold edge right there. Vintage, not gold dollar. <laughs> Vintage double duck gold edge, not gold dollar. Vintage Double Duck Gold Edge. Beautiful razor. 
uh, even more beautiful now that uh, Frank cleaned it up for me. And then we finished off with Sonder Aftershave from Mammoth Soaps. Good stuff. A nice, I like these products, shave. <laughs> and my 30th straight razor shave, and it went without a hitch. So you know the products perform well. Whether or not you like the scent, that's on you. That's enough for me. Sneak peek. And we're out.